Martin Tucker from the Cape Town Festival of Beer is joining me in studio. Now he's going to take us through a guided tasting of some South African beers you probably haven't heard of yet. Hello. Hi. How's it, Jane? Good. I'm excited to taste these beers. Now, we actually, well, I haven't heard of any of these beers except for Garajista because I live near the brewery. So. Cool. Well, that's a good a good place to live. If closer you are to a brewery, everyone should me measure their uh, their houses like that. <laughs> now, why don't you tell us about what we'll be tasting and the order we'll be tasting it in? Cool. So we've brought two completely new beers that, as in, like no one probably has ever tasted them except the brewer and maybe a couple and of you. focus groups and friends. No, no, no. I'm also tasting it for the very really? first time. Yeah. So it is pretty unique because I do get to taste most of the beers before they come out. Then we've got, um, first of all, just to tell you how we taste beers. So when you taste beers, you taste them from lightest to darkest or lightest to heaviest. Mm -hmm. So obviously we don't have any dark beers like a stout or a porter or anything amber. So we're going to start from lightest um, to heaviest just in terms of um, flavor maybe and, and, and actual body and mouthfeel of the beer. Um, and then we've got a fruit beer at the end, which is a cider, um, which is also quite unique because it's a pomegranate cider. Mm -hmm. So that way we won't bugger off our taste buds um, by having something sweet before we have the sort of drier, more yeah. bitter stuff. So this first beer we're going to have is Stripetos. It's a new contract brewery. Um, it's brewed on CBC... Um, uh, farm or, or Spice Root Farm, which is the home of Cape mm -hmm. Brewing Company um, and a German master brewer who's probably in the top 10 brewers on the planet. Really? Which is, is, is no sort of light thing to say. Um, named Wolfgang Kudel. Um, and this is a contract brew that he brews according to a recipe which he's developed. Um, and yeah, basically the, it's, a, it's an entry level lager. So I'm not sure what to expect from it until we have it. Um, but a lager style beer is generally the, the sort of the cleanest, the freshest, the crispest, the, the least offensive to your taste buds, mm -hmm. which is why in especially hot countries and, and, and very populous countries, it is the most popular beer in the world. Think Budweiser, Tiger, Singer, Castle, Black Label, Stella Artois, mm -hmm. etc. Um, so yeah, let's give it a bash. Let's give it a try. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing one does when tasting beer is you look at it. All right. Okay. Now, what is the first thing that stands out to you on this? Should it be the bubbles? So the head. The head. So <laughs> you look at the head and it's um, quite a big, thick, mm. um, uh, large carbonated head, as in the bubbles are quite big inside it. Mm. Um, People often talk about the legs like they're talking about wine, but that really doesn't affect it whether it sticks to the glass or not because you could also just have a dirty glass or it could have come right. straight out of a dishwasher and it's warm or there was some water in it and then mm. the bubbles dissipate quickly. So that's, you don't have to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to do with the proteins and how the beer is made, but that doesn't affect us when we're tasting beer. Okay. So the main thing to remember is look what the head looks like now. All right. And then the next time you have one of these beers compared to what you had the last time. And that's actually a very good indication of like whether it's the same beer or it tastes similar. Then you look at... Up to the light. Yeah, okay. pretty much what the beer looks like. So this is very light. It's almost mm -hmm. yellowy in color and it's completely clear, which means it's been micro filtered. You can see your hand through it on the other side. Okay. Again, appearance, which is what we're looking at now, is probably the smallest of the rating scale when you're judging a beer. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as it looks like a beer. Mm -hmm. And this pretty much looks like a beer. Right. Except for that sort of greenish, yellowy, very bright tinge. But that could also mm. just be the light. Yeah. <laughs> cool. The second part is aroma. So what do you smell? Hold on. I don't know. Beer? So, yeah. You, <laughs> it's quite sweet. The, 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 the smell that you get is quite sweet. I feel like I'm getting some citrus, but... Um, there might be I a little bit. I don't know that that's right. Could also have a blocked nose. Um, there's yeah, a little bit of lemony, citrusy mm. smell maybe. And, but that sweet sort of maltiness that you get mm -hmm. is, is very prominent. Okay. Now, 
my favorite part. All right, are we going to taste? taste? But when you taste, mm -hmm. don't just swallow immediately. Swirl it around a little bit in your mouth, and this is steps three and four. So the first is appearance, the second is aroma, and uh, step three and four, three is, is, is what it actually tastes like, mm -hmm. so the taste of it. And then four, you could call finish, mouthfeel. It's when it goes down your throat, um, you know, can you taste the hops on the side or the back of your tongue? Is it dry? Is it uh, bitter? Is it very sort of, uh, uh, you know, pungent sort of herby and spicy? Um, you know, what, what do you get? That's what you have to sort of All right. try and find out. Again, that sweetness um, is quite uh, sort of prominent. Mm. I definitely get quite a bit of sweetness. And that sweetness can sometimes be called drinkability. Okay. So drinkability leads to a beer becoming sessionable. And sessionable means you can drink it all day long. And does so, it mean smooth as well? Is it um, smooth smooth drinking? would be something that you would uh, experience in yeah. your mouth. So obviously, uh, taste and, and finish is made up of, of the combination of your taste buds, reactions, and what you smell and that. So you can't taste crispness. You mm -hmm. can't taste um, uh, cleanliness. You yeah. can't taste that. But what you can taste is sort of whether there's a minty taste or a citrusy taste or a or a, a, a herbal taste or a pine resiny taste. Those are the type of things that you get. But this beer has none of those. This beer is very clean. Mm -hmm. um, it's slightly bitter. You do get a little bit of a bitter finish on the sides of your tongue and the back of it, um, but very easy drinking. This is definitely a session beer that I think uh, lots of people can drink lots of. So, so cheers. What do you think? Mm. I think it's very easy drinking. I could yeah. drink that all day. Not that I would. No. <laughs>